What would it mean to you to, to, to win it? I'll be speechless. I'll be speechless because, I mean, I made the album in my bedroom, innit? So it's like, for the whole world to see something that's just come from my bedroom and like from my heart as well, it will mean a lot to me and I'm sure it will mean a lot to a few other people as well. Um, that's quite telling about um, the way the music industry is at the moment, that you can, this is where yeah. we come to, actually be making music that is, gets on a worldwide stage just from your bedroom. Just from and, your bedroom, And yeah. how empowering is that? It's, it's very empowering because, um, you know, you can tell the truth and it doesn't get filtered through, like, 20,000 people first. You know, like, when you're working with so many different mm -hmm. organisations, sometimes you can't really express yourself exactly how you want to, but... I feel like with this album, I was just my raw self, and um, you know, I hope it encourages people to do that with their own music in their own way. You know what I mean? Is there a danger there that having now gone global and uh, you know, award ceremonies and mm. sitting on BBC Breakfast sofa, that kind of there is now an expectation that you can't go under the radar, you can't just do what you want to do. You've kind of got to play the game. You've got to stick to the rules. Nah. Be a bit, bit more commercial, bit less nah, street. Novelist is never in danger, man. Really? Yeah, never, never, because. Like, even with this album, yeah, I remember when I first started making music and people kind of heard my name when I was around, like, 17 years old, people wanted me to drop an album then. I'm 21 now, so it's like, I move at my own rate mm -hmm. and that's what's always worked for me, it's always what's going to work. You're not going to have record companies now putting you under greater pressure and press releases and all that kind of no stuff? Pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure? No, You're very cool. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about... I mean, you were, you, were, you were Deputy Young Mayor of Lewisham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the kind of thing that you wanted... Why did you want to do that? Um, I just wanted to, to make some change in my community. What was important to you? What kind of things did change? Well, even, for example, yeah, like... You know, like buying books and just other stuff like after school clubs, do they have equipment like, mm -hmm. like trampolining or, you know, things that you wouldn't normally get to do. So like a young kid, I'm thinking the budget was a massive, massive budget. And I just wanted to like implement that in, in all of the schools. So that young and people did you manage could, to make changes? Not as much as I'd like, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? But that was the reason why I got involved in the first place. It wasn't really uh, for the politics mm -hmm. aspect of it. It was more for just to young people, and that was a means to actually getting something done. Do you think you can get more done, have more influence through music now than you ever could have done through politics? 100%. Yeah, 100%, because people listen. And um, they get entertained as well. <laughs> what do you say yeah. to some people? I, I'm, I'm imagining that there's not... Some people in our audience might think, goodness me, that music is a bit different to yeah. what I'm used to listening to. How would you encourage them to listen to it and why should they listen to it? I mean, on my album, I have a range of sounds. So that was just... Like, what we saw before, that was just um, a, a part of mm -hmm. my sound. But I, I can do anything. And there's a lot of versatile musicians who don't just make one specific sound. Do you know what I'm saying? So... Well, good luck tonight. Yeah, good luck. Thank you, Enjoy. guys. Man. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Man. I really am. Still. Be honest. What are your chances? Do you think of winning? Um, I'm a winner. So that's, <laughs> that's it. I'm a winner anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Too that's right. Nice. Too right. Thank you very much. You can watch the uh, Mercury Prize ceremony live on BBC Four tonight from 9 p.m. Best of luck. But we already know who the winner is, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, six minutes past nine. In a moment, we're going to be joined by the film critic Mark Kermode. He's going to tell us about his new music memoir. Not about the movies, uh, as he normally writes, but this time about his love of music. First, though, a last brief look at the headlines wherever you are.